AI manga is taking over the industry? It's time for the latest news out of Japan. Fans checking out the new series Rugby Rumble on Manga Plus were in for a nasty surprise. While the translation of Chapter 1 was pretty smooth, the lettering was bizarre. It looked like it was edited by an amateur, using a basic font in all caps. The result was ugly, and not something Manga Plus users are used to. What was going on? Well, typesetting and lettering on the Rugby Rumble chapter was not handled by a known professional. Instead, it was credited to a firm, Orange Incorporated. Looking into them, Orange is an AI company who boasts they want to use their systems to automatically localize manga, all the work professionals currently do. They claim they can teach an AI to replicate via deep learning. That way, they can just run it through their systems and BAM! Full localization! Up to now, Orange has mostly been working on the obviously high-class manga, Neko Oji, the guy that got reincarnated as a cat. This free Twitter manga was their proof of concept, Orange trying to show that their technology can work in practice. Rugby Rumble was their first chance at using their technology for professional, wide-release manga localization. This was Orange Incorporated's chance at finally hitting it big. It did not go well. Fans loathe Orange's text placement algorithms. With just one AI edited chapter released, people were already looking to burn Manga Plus down over this. To most readers, this bulky, ugly lettering is a pretty big downgrade from even fan translation work. Humans know when text looks ugly. They realize when it goes outside the borders of a box. The idea of a professional manga release looking like this was ridiculous to people. But that's what happened. Not the best beginning for Rugby Rumble's English launch. Everyone was talking about the lettering rather than the actual content of the manga. Publisher Shueisha certainly got the message. They've re-uploaded the chapter with fixed text, now including an extra lettering and editing credit for the translator, Mei Amaki. Rather than see her hard work get mocked, Miss Amaki has fixed it herself. Good for her! Going above and beyond to create something great. Let's hope she was paid for the extra work. This embarrassing, pathetic failure is probably not the last we've seen of Orange Incorporated, however. The company intends their AI model to eventually handle all aspects of localization work, including translation. They're still going to try and use technology to force professional translators, like Miss Amaki, out of a job. When trying to pitch the program towards investors, Orange claims they can make a 90% cut in localization costs through using AI. Yeah, clearly no downsides here. Hopefully, we'll be seeing no more of that. Imagine a scene like the reveal of Boruto's new Rasengan with the art covered up because of an AI letterer.